Welcome to the next episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I'm Shobit Bhutani, Product Marketing Manager for vSphere. Um, in this series, we bring VMware and partner experts to talk about VMware's vSphere and cloud products. These fabulous experts will also share their background, industry trends, and general tips for IT technical experts and their customers. Today's episode, I'm particularly excited because we have a very special guest, uh, VMware's cloud CTO, Mark Fleischman. And together we're gonna to talk about being cloud smart and enabling IT enterprises multi-cloud journey. Uh, hi Mark, I'm really excited to have a senior executive like yourself on this uh, series. Can you please share your background and what you're doing at VMware? Yeah, hey Shobit, uh, thank you very much for having me. Um, really excited to be here. Uh, so I'm Mark Fleischmann, I'm VMware's cloud CTO. Uh, my mission here is to re-architect our platform so that we can deliver infrastructure and workloads as a service across on-premises and public clouds. And maybe one little fun fact about me is I'm a coffee lover, so I always have my trusted coffee cup here with me. Outstanding. And just like yourself, Mark, I'm a coffee lover as well. Always have like two, three duck cups every day and keeps me jittery, but 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 on more on a lot of caffeine. So Excellent. with that, <laughs> with that, let's get on to uh, the fun part of fun part of the conversation here. Mm -hmm. um, Mark, I hear a lot about multi-cloud. Mm -hmm. Why do you think IT enterprises are are embracing this multi-cloud journey? Yeah, see, the, the key driver here um, for uh, all the persona and the consumers is really optionality choice, right? Uh, no single cloud is the best cloud for everyone. Um, for instance, Amazon is a really a rich, uh, particularly rich for developers. Um, Microsoft, given its you know, heritage, is very strong for enterprises. And then Google, of course, offers powerful AI ML services. Uh, so now, if you know, with that choice, with cloud optionality, developers and consumers um, get to use the best tools for their goals across clouds. While CIOs, of course, need to avoid vendor lock-in. So this means multi-cloud is really happening at all enterprises. And the move to cloud is a business-led transformation, focusing on agility for new application developments, while at the same time maintaining security, resiliency, and visibility. So multi-cloud does not only mean public cloud, by the way, it really means a cloud continuum from the core to edge, from core clouds to distributed edge clouds, where the cloud touches reality. Makes sense. I think I, that that comment you made about being a continuum really jives with me, right? Like it's not about being in one place, it's being at multiple places. And there's a continuum, right? There's um, stuff, uh, workloads moving back and forth as the client customer chooses it to, right? Which is kind of like the ultimate dream pretty much for multi-clouds. Uh, <clears throat> but saying that, right, there's a lot of benefits of multi-cloud, right? It gets mm -hmm. you scale, it gets you, you know, operating expenses uh, control. But I also hear a lot and read about the challenges customers are facing in this journey, right? It's, it's not easy getting on the multi-cloud. I'd love to hear your perspective and what you're hearing from customers. Yeah, so as always, uh, some of the key strengths also sometimes can turn into challenges, right? And so if we look at one of the key strengths of cloud, it is um, how easy it is to get started on it, right? It's super appealing, right? right? You get instant self-service without upfront investments or commitment. Um, now, however, once your cloud projects become successful and start scaling, your operating expenses start scaling right along with it. And that's when most of these uh, projects and the enter uh, IT enterprises come under pressure to, opti uh, to optimize cost. So a little flippantly, you could say hyperscalers are cheap to fail, but they can get really expensive to succeed. Uh, and this is really where cloud smart comes into the picture and more, more important than cloud first. Uh, and the resulting benefits of that, of multi-cloud can be significant for organizations. So, so great point right there, right? Is <clears throat> Everybody wants to get on hyperscalers. Everybody wants to, you know, leverage the edge environment and Equinix and all the other stuff associated with that as well. Uh, there's so many challenges to it, just like you just said, right? And so we'd love to hear your perspective on how VMware is solving some of these challenges for their customers. Yeah, so VMware is, is really, I would maybe say a little bit about the power of and and, and not so much about the power of or. And, and let me explain what I mean by that. If you go to a, a hyperscaler, um, you really get a, a naked VM. And then in, in order to build your workload and or your application, 
uh, you sort of need to actually uh, procure all these other services around it and sort of tie it into that VM to build an, an overall solution, right? Um, so now VMware, on the other hand, um, you know, given this this power of and offers you know building entire CI/CD pipelines that can actually span across multiple clouds. So it's a true silo buster, which is where a lot of the value is. Um, that all, that means we can let enterprises coherently manage uh, your apps uh, and services. We give the distributed workforces, enterprise workforces, easy access to all of these apps and services. Um, we enforce the operating policies by orchestrating and securing these apps, again, across silos and clouds where necessary. And then meanwhile, at the same time, we help enterprises control their IT spending. So it's a really nice, powerful, integrated package uh, that, we, that we offer here. So our vision to, to sort of maybe summarize that a little bit is really to provide a well-integrated SaaS stack that includes everything from the infrastructure as a service IIS foundation to the platform services and to give you, the enterprise customer, the best solution to build, run, manage, and secure your apps on any cloud. And this means things like built-in security, low latency connectivity, and high availability across clouds so that the enterprises can focus on delivering business agility and value rather than just managing IT. Fantastic, right? So <clears throat> really cool message about how customers can focus on you know, what their uh, business is about versus trying to become an IT house. Makes, makes a lot of sense. So <clears throat> you know, we're, we're helping customers get on this journey. Where does the multi-cloud headed to in the next you know, three to five years, you think? Yeah, we are, we are really at the dawn of the, the multi-cloud era here, so, so to speak. Um, you know, cloud optionality is, is going to increasingly drive the IT consumption model. Um, the key is to manage applications across the entire life cycle, across clouds, while optimizing cost and flexibility. So on-premises, edge and service providers will converge into this single cloud continuum that spans from the interactive real-time services at the edge to enriching all these services with insights that are created in the core clouds. And by tying all of them together, VMware offers enterprises great flexibility to always pick the best services at the lowest cost from any cloud for every workload, be it traditional or modern. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you so very much, uh, Mark, for joining me today. You're so welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Shobit. And with this, for our viewers, we're coming to the end of this episode. I really, really appreciate, like I said, Mark and his time for joining us today and joining um, us today. And for everyone watching this episode, thank you. If you like this episode, come back, join us next week for the next one. This is your host, Shobit Bhutani, signing off. Have a fabulous day, week, evening, weekend, wherever you're at. Uh, bye until next time. Thank you. Thank you.